Oh, the house is a three bed, two bath. Owned it for like 25 years. It needs a lot of work. You've owned it for 25 years? Yeah. yeah it's been in- hey guys, welcome to another episode of Sales with Jay and Ron. Yep, where we are turning script readers into pro salespeople. Woo! All right, guys, today's topic, we're going to be talking about mirroring. Mirroring is something you can use in sales and in everything you do, right? Uh, mirroring is a great tool that you can use to show people that you're listening, to give people instant feedback. Um, sometimes it's hard for people to know whether you're actively listening or not, and mirroring is a great way. And it also helps you manipulate the conversation to go the way that you want it to go. It helps you manipulate the conversation? There it is. Boom. Well, an example of mirroring. So <laughs> the way I like to mirror and Ronnie, pretty much the same thing. Um, one, you got to read a book. It's called Never Split the Difference by Chris Voss. Yes, it's right over there. Right over here. Yeah. Um, but pretty much the principles he talks about that we really like to use on a day to day basis is mirroring. Right. So that's pretty much when I hear maybe the last few se- words of a sentence and then I'll just repeat it back to them. So, Ronnie. Give me an example. Yeah. Um, so I was I went to the park today. I was running. Um, then I saw a cat. And then that cat decided to jump around. Wait, wait you went to the park today? Yeah, I went to the park. I was um, originally going to go exercise. Um, but then I just started wandering around. Oh, wait, so, you, you exercise? Yeah, I love exercising. Man. I try to exercise every morning. Sometimes I um, I forget to. But um, oh, yeah. you do forget, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm, I can be super forgetful sometimes. Boom, guys! You see how I just repeated the last few lines of his sentence and then just stayed quiet. It's just another way to get the other person to talk more. And when they're talking more, you're building more rapport. Because who doesn't like to talk about themselves, guys? Let, yeah. Let's be real. Yeah, and definitely practice this, guys. Um, practice this with everyone in your life. Just repeat the last couple of words. Once you get a grasp on how to go about that, the next level of that is um, using mirroring to um, make people kind of dig into uh, something they said a bit more. So, um, hey, Jagger, tell me a little bit about the house. Oh, the house is a three-bed, two-bath. I've owned it for like 25 years. It needs a lot of work. You've owned it for 25 years? Yeah, yeah, it's been yeah, I've owned it for twenty five years. Me and my wife bought this house literally twenty five years ago when we just had my uh, my first kid. Oh, you and your wife? Yeah, yeah, me and my wife. So she's um, obviously one of the main decision makers with me for the house, and um, we're just looking for something bigger now. Mm, she's one of the main decision makers. Yes, it, it, me and, and oh her. guys. So you see, like I I was able to get who's the decision maker out of just repeating it. I was able to uh, make him talk about um, like the twenty five years, right? That. Him talking about them owning it for 25 years made him talk about his wife who owns it with him. Now I know who the decision maker is. I also know they've owned it for 25 years. So you want to pick and choose um, what lane you want to go to by using mirroring. No, exactly, guys. And um, another thing it does is you don't become a checklist. You're not just asking these questions that it's like, oh, hey, how, how long have you owned the house? You're just kind of flowing with the conversation. He's talking a little bit about the house. Oh, that, how long have you owned it? That You've owned it for 25 years? Really? Huh. And then it's just kind of digging deeper into where you need to be because we have a guide of where we need the conversation to go. But at the end of the day, it's wherever the seller kind of wants it to go with the way they're speaking. So that's why mirroring helps you kind of get the things you need without sounding robotic and asking questions. Yeah, um, a good book to help you with that idea is called Ditch the Pitch. We just finished reading it. And um, another tool that Chris Falls talks about a lot is labeling. Um, Definitely click right here so you can um, learn about that. Boom.